Hi everyone! This is the continuation of functions, which is the operations on functions. And we have four operations, which are addition, subtraction, and multiplication, and division of functions. For the addition of functions, we have f plus g of x or f of x plus g of x. And in the subtraction, we have f minus g of x, which is also equal to f of x minus g of x. In multiplication of functions, we have f multiplied to g of x, which is also equal to f of x times g of x. And lastly, for the division of functions, we have f over g of x, which is also equal to f of x over g of x. Let's have our first example given the functions f of x which is equal to x squared minus x and g of x which is equal to 2x minus 2. Okay, let's try. We will all try all the uh, operations on functions but let's try the first one which is addition. So we have f plus g of x or f of x plus g of x x substituting the value of f of x we have substituting the value of f of x we have x squared minus x then copy the operation which is plus then substitute the value of g of x g of x which is 2x minus 2 now let's eliminate the parentheses and we can write it as x squared minus x plus 2x minus 2 now, we combine like terms. We have negative x and positive 2x. So, we will copy first with the one with the highest degree, which is x squared, followed by negative x plus 2x plus 2x, which is equal to positive x. Then, we have minus 2. And that is the final answer for f plus g of x. Let's now have the subtraction of functions. So we have f minus g of x, which is also equal to f of x minus g of x. Substituting the functions, we have x squared minus x, and then copy the operation. So we have minus 2x minus 2. So, before we combine like terms, we are to eliminate first the parentheses. So, eliminating the parentheses, we have x squared minus x. And for, and for the second function, for us to eliminate the parentheses, we need, we need to distribute first the negative sign on each term. Distributing the negative sign, we have negative times positive 2x, so we'll have negative 2x, and negative times negative 2, which is equal to positive 2. Com we can now combine like terms, so we have negative x and negative 2x. So we'll just copy x squared, then we have negative x minus 2x, which is equal to negative 3x, then copy positive and that is the final answer for the subtraction of functions. Okay, let's now have the third operation, which is the multiplication of functions. So we have f multiplied to g of x, which is also equal to f of x times g of x. Substituting the values, we have f of x, which is equal to x squared minus x multiplied to the value of g of x, x, which is equal to 2x minus 2. As you can see, we have a product of 2 by nomian. So to do this, to multiply this, we need to do the FOIL method. So we need to multiply the first terms first. So we have x squared multiplied to 2x. We'll have 2x cubed. Then, outer terms, we have x squared and negative 2. So, we'll have negative 2x squared. And inner terms, we have negative x and positive 2x. We'll have negative 2x squared. And the last terms are negative x multiplied to negative 2. We'll have positive 2x. And now, we are going to combine like terms. So, we have 
negative 2x squared and negative 2x squared. Now, we'll have 2x cubed, negative 2x squared, minus 2x squared, which is equal to negative 4x squared, and then we have plus 2x. And that is the final answer for the multiplication of functions. And for the last operation, we have the division of functions. So we have f over g of x, which is equal to f of x over g of x. Substituting the values, we have x squared minus x over 2x minus 2. So to simplify this, we need to find the common factors in the numerator and in the denominator. So, what do you think is the common factor for the numerator? Okay, it is x. Factoring out x, we'll have x multiplied to x minus 1. So, if you are to distribute x in x minus 1, you also have or you also get x squared minus x. While in the denominator, what is the common factor? Okay, it is 2. Factoring out 2, we'll have 2 multiplied to x minus 1. And if you're going to distribute 2 to x minus 1, you'll also have 2x minus 2. Now, as you can see, x minus 1 over x minus 1 is also equal to 1. So, we can cancel that out. And the remaining will be x over 2. And that is now the final answer. Let's now have another given. So we have here h of x, which is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 8, and g of x, which is equal to 3x cubed plus 12x squared. And we are to find for the sum of h of x and g of x. Substituting the values, we have x squared plus 2x minus 8, Copy the operation again. So we have plus value of g of x, which is equal to 3x cubed plus 12x squared. Now, we will combine like terms. Combining like terms, we'll have 12x squared and x squared. So to write this function formally, we need to write first the one with the highest degree which is equal to 3x cubed so let's write it first so we have 3x cubed then the second highest degree is x squared so we will combine it so we have 12x squared plus x squared which is equal to 13x squared then we have 2x plus 2x and the constant which is negative and we can say that this is the final answer. Let's now have h of x minus g of x. Substituting the values, we have x squared plus 2x minus 8. Copy the operation, so minus 3x cubed plus 12x squared. So, don't forget to always write parentheses on, most especially on the second function because we are going to distribute the negative sign on each term. So, copying the first function, x squared plus 2x minus 8. Distributing the negative sign, we have negative times positive 3x cubed, we'll have negative 3x cubed, and we have negative times positive 12x squared, we have negative 12x squared. Now, simplifying, the, simplifying this function, we will combine like terms, so we have negative 12x squared and x squared. But before that, we would... Uh, Write first the one with the highest degree, which is negative 3x cubed. So we have negative 3x cubed. Then the second with the highest degree is x squared. So we have positive x squared and negative 12x squared. So we'll have negative 
x squared. The next one will be positive 2x. So just copy it. And the constant which is negative 8. Let's now have multiplication of functions. So we have h of x multiplied to g of x. Substituting the values, we'll have x squared plus 2x minus 8 multiplied to 3x cubed plus 12x squared. So mul to multiply a trinomial and a binomial, we need to multiply the first function to the first term of the second function first. So multiplying x squared by 3x cubed will have 3x raised to 5. Then multiplying the second term to the first term. So we have 2x times 3x cubed will have positive 6x raised to 4. Next, we have negative 8 multiplied to 3x cubed will have negative 24x cubed. Now, we'll multiply the first function to the second term of the second function and we will align the degrees now. So we have x squared multiplied to 12x squared will have 12x raised to 4. So we will align it here. Then we have 2x multiplied to positive 12x squared will have 24, positive 24x raised to 3. And lastly, we have negative 8 multiplied to positive 12x squared will have negative 96x squared. Now, we will combine the like terms. So, we can copy 3x raised to 5. Then, we will combine 6x raised to 4 and positive 12x raised to 4 which is equal to positive 18x raised to 4. And so we have here negative 24x cubed and positive 24x cubed which will be equal to 0. And we still have negative 96x squared. And that is the final answer. Let's now have the division of the function h and g. So we'll have h of x over g of x. Substituting the values, we'll have x squared plus 2x minus 8 and over 3x cubed plus 12x squared. To simplify this, so as you can see, the numerator is a trinomial and to simplify a trinomial, we can try to find the factors of this given. So we have x squared plus 2x minus 8. What do you think are the factors? Okay, so we have x plus 4 and x minus 2. So if you're going to do the FOIL method in x plus 4 and x minus 2, you're also going to have x squared plus 2x minus 8. And in the denominator, we have a binomial. So to simplify, um, we can try to find its common factor. So what do you think is the common factor? We have 3x cubed and positive 12x squared. Okay, their common factor is 3x squared. Factoring out 3x squared will have 3x squared multiplied to x plus 4. So if you're going to distribute 3x squared to x plus 4, you're also going to have 3x cubed plus 12x squared. So as you can see, we can cancel out x plus 4 and x plus 4 since it's also equal to 1. And the values left are x minus 2 over 3x squared. And that is the final answer. Thank you for listening and I hope that you learned.